Hi there, I've been doing some work on the old um, uh, power armor and I thought I'd share with you um, uh, what I've got so far. You probably remember this old uh, piece with all its uh, crazy linear actuators and which fits onto my person like so. However, these linear actuators are not properly placed because it's giving a because it's giving 400 pounds of uh, lifting force to make the legs go outwards instead of where it needs to be, which is on the thighs. Because humans have very thick thighs to support all their weight, so... I've decided to do a little change, and I'll be cannibalizing this for the uh, next piece I'm going to show you. Which is a little more chunky. I've got a bicycle seat in here, so it can be uh, comfy for myself. And you can see I've got these uh, linear actuators on the bum piece, which gives lots of uh, lifting power to the thighs, about 400 pounds maximum, probably. And only one linear actuator controlling the swingy-outy movement, whatever you call it. And now this will be putting some strain on like the uh, joint pieces right here, but I can probably change that out with some metal or something. And this is how it will fit onto myself, like so. So you can see this is going to be some very chunky power armor. I might um, do some trimming to make this not stick out as much, so a little further inwards, but it is actually kind of comfy sitting on here. You know, because I got the uh, bicycle seat and everything. And for the shins, I'm going to be doing something kind of familiar. In order to keep the parts simple, I'm just going to be having the ankles be like um, uh, Judd McStud's ankles with this sort of um, uh, bungee cord mechanism in the back, which allows for unpowered um, sort of uh, leveling and articulation. It will make it a little more difficult to operate, but it will cut down on the need for linear actuators because after all this mess and installing a me linear actuator on that module. I only have one left because I'm also using these to power the armpits for Marduk, so I'm down uh, two. But all things considered, I don't think it's uh, too bad. So theoretically, the finished junk nominal kinetic integration or janky power light. Will look something like this. Except, you know, I'm gonna be making this old John McStud like a little thicker. So, in essence, the junk nominal kinetic integration power legs, janking power legs, or as I'm starting to affectionately call it, the hulking dynamo, will look something like this. You've got the pilot up here, and their legs go down into the shins. They wobble their feet around there to make the uh, legs move, and the ankles are just spring-loaded to uh, bend and shift weight. So if you do enjoy my content, be sure to like and subscribe and build yourself a set of power armor today. Bye-bye.